Hello, everybody, and welcome to this edition of the Untold Story podcast. So this week I saw a couple of stories that just caught my attention, and they are stories about women and their approach to how the world perceives them. And I thought they were very interesting. One of them was Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, married to Prince Harry. And the other is Hailey Bieber, who's married to Justin Bieber. Very different takes. And I thought, who would be really interesting to chat with this about? And I thought, Carly Shimkus. And Thankfully, Aww. Carly made some time for <laughs> us this God. afternoon. And um, hi, Carly. Hi. Well, when I got the email that you wanted me to be on your podcast, I said, what an honor. Aww. I wouldn't miss it for the world. So oh, thank you for great. having me. Well, you're great. And I know you've had a really busy day. And I know you also announced today that you're having a baby boy. Yeah. So just a couple things going so on. So a few things going on. So <laughs> congratulations. Thank you so you. much. Yeah. Baby boy due in February. My first baby. So everything is magical yeah. and wonderful. And I no, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, but as of now, you don't have to do much. No, nope. <laughs> no. Nope. Uh, but I am so excited. About That's it. great. Well, yes. we're so happy for you. Thank and you. Um, having been through it three times myself, With- I can tell you that it is very magical. And um, my son was here visiting today and they grow up so fast and he's in college. And, you know, so anyway, I'm yeah. just super excited for you. Oh, and great to you. see our Fox family expanding. Yes. And we're always supportive of each other in these really big life moments, which is really nice. Thank you so here, much. Yes, so. I was very very excited to tell you about yeah. the baby because, yeah, that's, that's you know, awesome. I consider you a role model. Well, we look, for, oh, well, gosh, thank you. And, um, you know, we, we look forward to that big day in February and so do I continue to feel good. To, and to meet eventually the baby. you'll be actually looking like a pregnant person, but yeah, so far I, I, can, I can report now. that she doesn't at all. <laughs> <laughs> we're lo- a little annoying. We're looking forward to I February. 40 pounds. Stop. And you could tell I was pregnant in about Five minutes, but that's okay. Um, so moving right along. Okay. So Meghan Markle, yeah. right? She comes out. She has this huge Spotify contract, mm-hmm. millions of dollars. They didn't just close exactly how much, but I think it's somewhere in the twenty-three, twenty-four million dollar contract. She finally got around to dropping the first podcast for Spotify, and it's an interview with Serena Williams. They're good friends. They said they hit it off right away. Um, but one of the things that she says in here is she she talks about the fact that she she feels like women it, it came across to me as sort of like a victim sort of story. She says, you know, it's it's not okay for women to be ambitious. She says, I didn't know this until I met my husband and started dating him. Mm-hmm. And now, then I was labeled as ambitious and a climber and all of these things. And, and I couldn't help but think, oh boy, so is this whole podcast going to be about how women are are victims? What did you think? Okay, so that is exactly how I felt when I listened to the podcast. So it it really is all about the negative consequences of being an ambitious woman today. And my first reaction to it is it sounds like she's having a conversation in 2022 that maybe she could have had in 1950, like trying to solve a problem that simply doesn't exist today. There are no negative consequences of being ambitious, no matter whether you are a man or a woman. And proof of that is that she was talking to Serena Williams. So she's having this conversation about how society is trying to hold strong women back. And she's talking to one of the most successful, strong (laughs) women, universally loved women out there. So no, ambition uh, never holds you back. It always progresses you forward. But I do think that she lives in a world where the victim mentality has played a huge part of her life. You know, it strikes me, you know, not to just slam her, but it it strikes me that she's always sort of feeling put upon. Yeah. And she married into this family where service and duty are supposed to be the most important thing. Right. It's not about you. Okay. And then I remember her doing that interview where she said, yes, thank you so much for asking me how I'm doing because I am not okay. Right. And I think that that whole kind of generational experience of putting other things before you, country, God, family, is is completely lost on her. And I wonder if it's, you know, emblematic of of the way a lot of women, maybe in her age range, are feeling today. Yeah. And you're not you're about the same age probably as she is. So or in that ballpark. Right. I am do you think yeah. that's true? Oh, without question. And um I think 
that she is trying to do a good service and try and help young women with this podcast. But really, she's doing it in sort of a ne- in a negative way by saying that, uh, you know, you, you people will try and trample you if you're ambitious. That I mean, that was not I, I can just speak for myself. That has never been my personal experience. I've worked here my entire career. And uh, the women that I think of who are ambitious are you, Dana Perino, Jillian Turner, a ton of producers here as well. Sarah Popple, who's the executive producer of Fox and Friends First. You, I just think of them as strong, smart women that have their stuff together. Yeah. There's just simply nothing negative about Not to it. Not mention Suzanne Scott, who's our CEO. It's, it, we don't have that experience yeah, Lauren here. Lauren Pedersen I don't also. I think. Yeah. I never felt it either, where you were sort of seen as, you know, a climber if you were no. Im- Ambitious. Um, but but can I just say yeah. to um, build upon your point about the royal family is one of the lines that really struck me is that uh, she said that she learned that ambition could be looked at as a negative thing when she started dating her husband. Mm-hmm. And she saw that women um, can make themselves smaller than they actually are. And she felt bad for those women. And I mean, the first person that you think of when is... I mean, is she t- she's talking about Kate Middleton, possibly. And maybe she thinks that Kate Middleton is making herself smaller um, for being a member of the royal family and staying in the family. And I think that's more maybe a Megan problem than thinking that she's bigger than one of the most historic institutions in the world um, than a Kate problem. But that that was just one of the takeaways that I had in listening to the podcast. Yeah, I think there's a mentality that it's all about you. And your every emotion and your every day of feeling put upon or that someone is not looking at you the way they want that you would like them to perceive you instead of just, you know, getting on with it. Right. And just doing the work ahead of you. I always think, too, like she had the most incredible opportunity to do the kind of work that she says she wants to do. Right. Public service and mental health and all of these issues. There's no bigger platform than the one that she and her husband had. Mm -hmm. And if, if she'd been able to sort of suck it up a little bit and be part of that system in order to use it in a way to her advantage and to take advantage of that platform, um, I, I don't, I think she could have, she could have exceeded every ambition she ever had. Yeah, without question. And I also think that when you're talking about ambition and success, kindness goes a long way as mm-hmm. well. And, uh, you know, And loyalty as well. And, you know, sticking with the people who have chosen to stick with you. And that doesn't mean that you're going to get along with everybody. But you're talking bad about members of your family is a is a really challenging thing for people to perceive and then want to ingratiate themselves uh, with you as well. Uh, being nice to people is a is a big part of I I who I try to be. Um, And it's not because it's like a self-gratifying thing. It's just as easy to be nice as it is to be mean to somebody and it's more fun. You make connections and those connections matter and it can progress you to being more successful as well. You are very nice and nice is one of those words you're like, do you want to be called nice? But you are a genuinely sweet, good person who is very successful in this business and just a a star for this network. So uh, and you you handle it really graciously and beautifully. So good for you. So someone else <laughs> well, who you. I would you kind of too. put in that category, and I don't really know all that much about her, but I saw this piece. I thought it was so interesting about Haley, Haley Bieber, Justin Bieber's wife. And she's making the case for marrying before she got married at 21 to Justin Bieber before your life is, quote, figured out. And I thought this was really interesting because she said that when she was at Georgetown, finishing her senior year and she had an engagement ring on, she said she felt embarrassed, not personally embarrassed about what she was doing, but she said that people would look at her like she was crazy out of her Mm -hmm. mind. I don't know what word she used, but that, and they would say, how could you possibly be getting married? Mm -hmm. You're only 21, but obviously she felt that she wanted to be married. And you always hear, I always hear young people, I have a lot of you know nieces and nephews who've just been getting married. And say, well, we're going to get married after we complete this, after she finishes law school, after he gets his doctor's degree, after this, after that, then we'll have enough money to get married. We'll have enough. And I think about my parents who got married at 20 and 21 and they just started their life together and then right. they figured it out. 